news. Yes, it's happening. INEC is on Buhari. Says Buhari in action has is threatening 2023 activities as 20 revs retires. INEC is frustrated with the man that is the you know the president of the country saying to all, if things do not go as it should, if there are gaps and lapses, it's not because we it's not because of our inactivities, it is because the man we've given the mandate to be the president of the country can't be bothered and has other personal interests he's attending to. Hence do not care what is going on. There are matters you should attend to, but guess what? Hey, the guy has other personal interests and cannot, okay, be bothered with the real in, with the real issues of governance. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Buhari's in action threatens 2023 elections activities. INEC raises alarm as 20 reps retires. The tenor of 11 of the reps came to an end on July the 6th. Nine others are due for retirement next month. Why one, why one in April? Why one finished in April last year? Activities towards the 2023 general elections are all under threat of paralysis in at least 20 states. As the resident electoral officers of those states, INEC National Electoral Commission, INEC reached the end of his five-year tenure and the president has not considered it in any way to see this as important. The tenure of 11 of the reps came to an end on July the 6th. Nine others are due to retire next month. Why one quits in April to join Pizan politics? Those already out are from Anambra State, Enugu State, Rivers, Imo, Abia, Oyo. Others are Kogi, Bachi, Gombe, Traba, Plateau. However, apart from Mr. Pyle, who has served out his second and final tenor. The other 10 of these reps have only served a tenor and can be reappointed for a second tenor. Similarly, on August the 17th, the tenor of eight other reps will also come to an end. These are reps from Adamawa, Christina, Akwaibom, Sokoto, from this batch, those who have their second tenor and eligible to be re, to be to be brought back to office are that of are that of Akwaibom and Sokuto. In addition, Benway State registered last year to join the peasant. Benway State rep registered last year to join the peasant politics and resigned from INEC. The effort of this is that. The effect of this is that six months to generate it, it is that it takes six months for the general election. Twenty states will be without reps, which we which have direct implication on the election and credibility of results. The approval of certain requests under the continuous voters registration exercise, which will exclude the reps, may suffer setback. These those approved include the request to transfer of pulling units, corrections of names, and other information of registration. REVs also chair the internal agencies and the Constitutional Committee on Electoral Security in the states, co-chaired by the Commissioner of Police. President Muhammad Buhari, whose duty is to appoint the officers for confirmation by the Senate, is yet to do so, a development that has cost anxiety as INEC, at INEC as the commission prepares for the general election. If it was not election year, they will not be bothered. New reps are normally appointed before the tenor of the incumbent expires to avoid vacancies in the system and ensure smooth transition of state properties and information, proper training on what job descriptions are. The president's inability to work and ensure things are done in order has caused this major setback. So 
This is what is happening, my wonderful people. This is exactly what is going on now. President Muhammad Buhari, not a doing job. He's not doing his job and it's affecting every single person. Okay, it's beginning to affect everybody. Buhari has failed to take on the job description and ensure that he does what is absolutely right. Okay, so this is what is happening right now. Every one of us must do the right thing. Okay, every one of us must do the right thing. Okay, this is what is happening right now because the truth of what is happening are clear indications that Buhari, he has finished his tenure. He is waiting for the expiration date. Buhari tenure has long ended. It's gone, like totally, completely gone. You know, and um, he's just there doing the, the rituals of what a president will do, just being in the office there, marking time. Elections are right around the corner, and the president himself poses a serious threat to the credibility of any successful election. And in case you're not aware, the president will want to ensure that his party remain in power. He may tell you he's not interested, he's not part of it, but hey, let me tell you something. It's easier said than done. If you know what, you know, things he's putting in place and trying to do to ensure that they remain in power, you'll be shocked. But yet, openly come to tell you that, you know, it's not part of it and all that. INEC now is putting it out there to all Nigerians that your president is not working. He's not doing what he should do. Hence, they, they, they may be experiencing a setback which will result, you know, the, in, 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 you know no proper results being, being you know, be, being implemented on the very sad days. So these are the things that are happening and why every one of us have got a duty to ensure that we do not allow, you know, President Muhammad Buhari destroy the very fabric of this nation by not rising up to the occasion and doing what he should do. It's not someone pleading with him to pick up an assignment that was not no. It's part of the job description for which he advertised himself. Nigerians thought he was competent and gave him the opportunity to serve. Today, he has failed massively in that capacity. And INEC is raising an alarm, saying things are going from bad to worse. And the implication is that it may affect the 2023 general election. And nobody should complain if things turn that way because the president has not done his call duty. This is INEC reporting Buhari to you and I, so we can be aware of what is going on. In case you don't understand, Buhari does not care about any other person than his cows. Leave us a comment. Bye for now.